guys here with another trainer confidential so uh we got some pretty exciting news we we, we took a break last week uh after the olympia but yep man what a what an awesome olympia uh best i've seen so far in my following of bodybuilding it was, it was it was it was pretty good yeah yeah so uh uh a couple things came from it uh one of the major news breaks is that uh sebum you know he's retiring from classic <laughs> Right. Uh, it, he announced <laughs> that he's going to do open and he's not only going to do open, but he wants to make it to the 2025 Olympia in open class. So he's actually scheduled for the evils probe uh, Prague in two weeks. So he's prepping for that right now, uh, which is that that's pretty big news. I mean, uh, you know, Martin Fitzwater is going to be in that show. Sean Clarita is also going to be in that show. Akeem Williams is going to be in that show. Uh, uh, apparently, uh, uh, Rafael Brando said that once he heard Seabum's going to be in that show, he decided to go into that show. <laughs> well, we 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 know we know we know he's going to bring structure. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, he's going to bring structure, and 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 of course. He didn't have to suck down to make a weight, so he's he's yes. he's uh yeah. he's gonna be fuller and stuff. But the thing about it is this is is he gonna be able to bring that degree of conditioning that he has to that heavier that 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 heavier class? That's that's the question. Well, uh, from what I've heard, uh, Hani has been having him you know do a lot of hard high carb days, uh, and basically how Sebum has been talking is like. I mean, I'm eating like an open bodybuilder now. And, you know, this is kind of like cheating, right? <laughs> so he's eating a lot more food uh, right now and he's filled out. Yeah, I don't think you really need to increase his protein or anything like that. I, I would basically. Carbs. Yeah, it's the carbs. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's the carbs. The carbs yeah. are, you know, it's the, the thing about keto. Keto is great for staying lean and stuff like that, but you can't grow on it because. It 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 nulls the the insulin response, and you need that yeah. insulin response for for growth. And the only way you're going to get that is through carbs. Yeah, and he uh, so far since he's been doing this, his weight has not changed. So uh, he's not going up in weight yet. So mm -hmm. I imagine Hani's probably going to just keep him on this protocol: cheat meal here, cheat meal here. You know what I mean? Just up the calories. Uh, He's eating. He's eating big, and uh, I watched a video uh, that he put out today, and, uh, and then I compared some some pics from the Olympia, and you could tell. I mean, he's he's full as hell. Calls himself fat, but he's not. He's still in shape, big time. Um, so he's going to bring in that size too, and he's going to bring in that. I don't think I don't think he's got a problem with conditioning. Uh, you know, he's all, he's, he's like Sean Clarita. That's one thing you can expect from, from Seabum is, is conditioning. I don't think I, he's, I think he's a hard gainer. Uh, you yeah, know, I, I, yeah. Yeah. And I think, I think this, this, this first show, I'm not really anticipating on seeing a huge bit of difference in the fullness. You don't think so? Yeah, it, cause it it takes it takes time because the thing about it is this, I mean, yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure it's he can he can get full, yeah, you can get, him, but he's he's got it, he's got to bring that conditioning with it, yeah, you, you know, you know, yeah. So so yeah. Well, I know, I mean, because he doesn't have to suck down now. So I know at the Olympia, uh, the day before the show, he was on his scale, he was two pounds over the weight class the day before. Or no, I think it was the day of actually. But at any rate, uh, he relied on uh, the scales at, at the uh, competition to be off, and they were. <laughs> so he he made his weight class obviously. Uh, but uh, you know he, I don't know what he was eating then, but it wasn't very much. So I'm kind of curious to see in this year when he switches over, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? But you're right. Him? But 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 the thing about it is, Hani may do something. As simple as just change out his fill out phase. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And not really have to go through a lot of stuff, major stuff, just fill him out more, you know, yeah. and, and 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 that 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 may be enough. The question is, can he go can he beat Martin? <laughs> Martin has got all of the above. And I mean he placed fourth in the Olympia this year. He came out of nowhere. 
As a matter of fact, they train together, uh, and I and I'll show that on a on a little short clip. Well, 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 I'll I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you that um, <clears throat> I think I, I think as as far as uh, as um, as um, as as conditioning and and structure goes, I mean he's he's up there with them, but there there is a notable difference between an open bodybuilder, you know, and a bodybuilder, open bodybuilder in particular. And a class of physique guy. Yeah. There is a difference. Yeah. You can see the difference in their physique. Yeah. I mean, you, you, so so it's 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 like if an open bodybuilder decides to go down to classic, he'd have to forego some of his fullness, you know, because he first of all he's got to wait make a weight class, mm -hmm. you know, and 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 so with 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 um with Bumstead, he's got to bring that fullness because. That is a requirement. He just can't go to the upper ranks, you know, or to the to the not necessarily upper ranks, but he just can't go to the open class, okay, with the physique that he has. Yeah. Oh, he'll do well, you know, but these guys are a lot fuller than he is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's part of it. That's par for the course. Mm. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, but then we got Sean Clorita up there too. And you know, he's obviously a two twelve competitor. He's gonna be the smallest guy on the stage. Uh a lot fuller than he was. Oh, he's going to be full in in the Olympia. He's going to be full. I I, <laughs> I I have I have to admit I did I I was not expecting him to come in that small. Yeah, he had a he yeah. had a he had a you know they had a game plan. It just didn't work. But we all the know game, the coach the size, coaching yeah. situation. Uh, keep which the size that you got. Keep he's the got size a new that he coach had. too, by the way. Yeah, do you know who the does he does he have a new coach already? I gotta, I got, I'm gonna let him announce that because I'm gonna, I'm gonna show that uh, that video that he posted. But yes, he's got a new coach. Uh, Nick Walker has been kind of beating around the bush. You know, people have been saying that he might so and so might be his coach, but he's not admitting to nothing yet. But uh, uh, so, but yeah, let me let me go ahead and bring up that uh, that Sean Clarita uh, video. Mm -hmm. I take it. I take it. Nick Walker is not doing the Arnold Classic. He hasn't said anything. No, not that I know of. Uh, this was the plan for past about two weeks now since the Olympia, and then obviously all of a sudden you see all everybody jumping in. Uh, Martin, Sipa, of course, MD. I'm sure we need more. So this show is definitely going to be one of the most watched and talk about shows, you know, uh, of the season. So I'm excited for it. I'm excited to be a prop for the very, very first time. Uh, thank you to Peter, the promoter, for having me out. It's going to be, a, again, I'm looking forward to this opportunity. And the big question that everyone keeps asking, all right, who am I working with? Who am I being coached by? Uh, this is a decision that I made uh, a couple weeks ago after talking to this person and um, getting on the phone with this person, kind of seeing what their thoughts and uh, about my physique what their goals were and kind of just obviously looking at their track record, who they've worked with in the past and the success they've had. I have decided to work with Stefan, the boss of Outlaw. All right. Uh, he and I got a phone call, had a very extensive conversation. Things went very well. I was happy with what he had to say. And um, right after living, we started working together, put together a game plan for this prod pro. And uh, things have been going great thus far. I'm excited to see the new package we bring to the Prog Pro. Obviously, looking back at the Olympia, uh, we know what the issues were. Obviously, conditioning on a factor. I just need to be a little more fuller, mm -hmm. a little bit more rounder, a little bit bigger. And uh, Stefan has definitely got me going in the right direction. So I'm excited for that. Uh, again, guys, I hope you guys are excited for this Prog Pro. I'm excited to be there. And you guys stay tuned. I'm going to try to put some content going forward. And uh, we'll see you guys in Prog. So, uh, so yeah, uh, that, that's going to be interesting to see too. We have that on the table too. I mean, we know, we know Sean can, Sean can get, he can gain weight really quick. He sucks down too. Uh, you know, uh, uh, what two Olympias ago, he was uh, a lot bigger. Uh, you know, I mean, th I think he still had, I think he still had room to grow like five pounds or something like that. He was yeah, like, yeah, the, 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 yeah, I, I was looking more, once I saw his physique, I was looking at the, I was Kind of critiquing this the strategy. I mean, yeah, I figured I figured he would have brought the same amount of size that he did last, and he had the size to do it. You know, yeah. it's just that you know, um, um, I can't I can't remember what's his name, the winner of the two twelve, 
Oh, Keon. Keon. Keon was just, Keon just, he was just on point. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. and me personally speaking, I think Keon at 100% versus Sean at 100%, I think Keon takes it almost every time and stuff. You know, Keon has to be off a little bit for Sean to get him and stuff. Yeah. You know, and yeah. the thing I, the, the, the thing I had, the thing, the thing I thought, I think the thing that I think of what I thought that Sean had over uh, uh, Keon was that Sean is very, very, very consistent. He is. He brings that level of condition every time, whereas Keon was having a problem with it. Twice, he's brought in very, very, very good conditioning and stuff. And if he's got this thing figured out, he's going to be a 212 Olympia for a while if he doesn't, if he decides not to move up. Actually, Olympia TV uh, mm -hmm. uh, talked about Keon, and uh, they were saying that they could see him winning the Open Olympia because that I guess that's Keon's goal is to get into the Open. With that kind of structure that he's got, yeah, and and that with the muscle bellies, the roundness, yeah, I, I could you know, see the, that the roundness of his muscle bellies and with his structure, and 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 he's one of those he he's 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 just got one hurdle to to to, to master. And that's yeah. bringing in that that bringing in that condition consistently. We yeah. know he can do it. Yeah. Now the thing is, can he do it consistently? Yeah. Yeah. And can he? And he can he? And if he if he was to go to open, can he keep that tight waist still? That's the big thing. And that kind of raises me up my next uh, thing I want to talk about. Seth Fiores. Uh, he is coming out of retirement. Uh, he plan. He's gonna. You know, he was he was a two to all competitor. Uh, I believe he's doing open class, but uh. So he's going to be doing the Detroit Pro. He just started. Uh, he just started uh, prepping for this show. Well, not prepping, but you know, getting ready for this show, uh, like five weeks ago or something like that. Uh, but I want to. I want to bring up a picture of him, uh, real quick. How old is he now? Uh, he, I'm curious. That's a good question. He's got to be in his 30. He's probably in his in his mid 30s or low 30s. He's got a whole family. He's got a couple kids and a wife and. So I, I'm guessing he's probably in his in his low 30s. Uh, but uh, the reason I wanted to throw him in here is I, I just want I just wanted to take a look at his midsection. Oh, I lost it. No, oh, never mind. It's not here no more. <laughs> I'll just go. I'll just go look it up. Okay. So he put this is his recent video out that he put out. Of his physique update. And he's looking huge. He's well, looking this, this huge. This is, this, is, this is typical Seth right here. This yeah. is, you know, I mean. Well, he shrunk down quite a bit. Because, you know, when he was. I mean, this guy runs. He has a couple businesses. I mean, this guy's an entrepreneur. You know, and and a full. You know, he's a, he's a family man. He's got a farm. You know, this guy's a hard working guy. But what I see when I see him, and you know, and what is it, it says five, he's five weeks in right now, so uh, he's very lean. You see, you say he's five weeks out, or he's five weeks into his prep. In in not in the prep because the Detroit pros in like five months or something like that. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, and he, and this this is five months out. Yeah, yeah. So what I what I'm concerned about is the waist. I guess is what I'm what I yeah he's he's he's, he's 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 a, he's a little he's a little thick north north and south and east and west yeah yeah he is he is which will that go away in that time I'm not sure and you that's know, the thing about it, it's he's not holding a lot of fat down there so chances no. are it probably won't but the thing about it is this he 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 his his legs will he's got he's he's always had pretty. He's got big legs. legs. He's got pretty yes. good legs, which will counter that out. If he had small legs, yeah. if he had small legs, it would be a different story. I know yeah. a thick waist with small legs, you know, that 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 really takes away from a physique and stuff. But, you know, I mean, he's his legs are thick enough to where it will it will throw off some of the thickness in his waist. And that's true, too. That's true, too. And he's got the width up top, uh, you know, so he he he, he can. But. My point, my point with Keon is, is for Keon to go into open, you know, would it be sacrificing that, you know, his his midsection? You know, he's got to be eating a lot more. He's got, you know, uh, all well, of that. I mean, you, you, know, you, 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 you mean you have you have to you have to wait and see because I think I yeah. think I don't think he's training to to have a waistline like that. He just has that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like having perfectly diamond shaped calves. You don't train for it. You either have it or you don't. So that's true. Yeah. 
Yeah, so uh, that's pretty cool to hear Seth's getting out of retirement. Uh, I, I like Seth a lot. He was actually one of the one of the first bodybuilders I was I started following. Yeah, back in the day. So yeah, he's open and honest about everything and how everything goes down. And I, I just yeah. like the guy. He he's just uh he's a down to earth guy. He says what's on his mind. You know, uh, uh, a lot of his beliefs are the same beliefs I got. And you know, so so that's five, cool. five, you know five five weeks out. He's like he's like in the, he's like in deep off season and stuff. And he's looking like that five weeks out. Goodness yeah. Gracious. Oh no, he's like five months out. He's five. Well, weeks five, I mean five months out. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Five so he's five weeks he's into like his uh, off season. I guess you would call it. <laughs> yeah, he's deep. He's deep in the off season. He's oh yeah. Like that. That's, yeah. that's 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 yeah because good. you know he quit he could he completely quit bodybuilding for yeah maybe a year i mean he just did like calisthenic stuff he he tried all kinds of things actually i mean uh but a lot of calisthenic stuff and you know he and he shrunk quite a bit uh uh you know and yeah and uh he you know he's on trt he was on trt then and, and apparently he has not raised his trt much he has raised a so little he, he's, still, he's still at trt levels instead of PED. pretty much yeah Pretty much, yeah. So he's not PED levels. Yeah. So uh, he just eaten. You know, he just has has a bodybuilding diet, whereas he didn't before when he was off season. You know, I mean, part mm -hmm. of retirement is that. You know, I mean, the that's a lot of work to put down all that food every day. You know, and so. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It it, it is. It, so when you take a break, system. that's part of the break. You know, but but downsizing happens too during that, obviously. So. Uh yeah, so it's gonna be exciting. Uh. It's gonna be exciting, Prague, man. And I forgot to mention Horse MD too. I knew that too. And Horse MD uh, jumped into the show because he's good friends with Ramon. Because Horse MD's from uh, uh, Brazil too, I guess. Right, right. He's friends with Ramon, and so you know, so there's 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 these rivalries there, which is really cool too. Friendly rivalries, but you know, and uh, Martin uh, trained with uh, C Bum like a little bit ago and they made a video and so martin's been putting out stuff and you know kind of uh you know calling them out on class doing classic poses you know c bums mm -hmm. poses so it's going to be a really interesting show <laughs> which it was last year too but uh this year is going to be a little bit better i think so yeah just when everybody just when everybody thought well you know c bum is he's powering down he's like, yeah i'm stepping down but you know, I'm 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 going to the open, so that means he's 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 going he's putting the pedal to the metal even more now. Yeah, you know. Another thing I wanted to talk about too, just real quick. Uh, I seen a couple videos. I didn't watch it because I didn't want to give it my time to. I didn't want to give it my time, but uh, the headlines were something along the lines of uh, Samson. Should Samson compete anymore? And Samson is looking soft because yeah, he I... guest posed. It's like, come on, man. We just got done with the Olympia. He's looking exactly how he should be looking <laughs> right now, and <laughs> probably there, probably for him. Yeah, you know, it's, it's 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 some people just have that Sean Roden effect. You know what I mean? I mean, it, 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 they don't impress at all. You know, during the off season, but when yeah. but they 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 impress when they need to impress the most, and that's when you're in front of the judges. You know, in the lineup. You know, when it matters. Mean? When it matters. You know. <laughs> now, 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 granted, 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 you know, I mean, you know, I mean, there's, there's something to be said if, if, if you are, you know, I mean, you, you are a pro bodybuilder, you are a professional and, you know, I mean, on the off season and stuff, when you're out doing engagements and stuff like that, I mean, you shouldn't be in contest shape, but you shouldn't be completely out of shape neither. Oh, he totally is in contest shape. I mean, well, I wouldn't say contest shape, but I mean. He's got abs. He's he's not out of shape by all means. Yeah, that's that's fine. He's just not he just not as hard as he was on the Olympia stage. I thought that was kind of and it might have been clickbait. That's why I didn't want to even watch it. But you know, you you, 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 you know you get you got you got more and more bodybuilders now today though that that do stay pretty 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 yes, close. That is a okay. thing. I mean, I remember you know I I I've seen some guest posing in the in the, in the eighties where you know the pros they were just out and out fat. You yeah. know, I mean, they were, you yeah. know, I mean, I, I look at these guys today and stuff, you know, and, and these gals, you know, and they're in deep off season and stuff. And they still look like they, they look like they're like they can step on stage almost. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, so, yeah. Do you think it's more competitive now than the 80s? I think so. Yeah. I, I think, think it's so. closer. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think I don't think you're gonna have those six and seven win Mr. Olympias no. or Ms. Olympias and stuff. I don't think you're gonna have those. You may have maybe maybe somebody may do maybe two or three, mm-hmm. you know, and then before they get knocked off, and then they may come back and you know I I I, I believe it or not I still see uh, um, Derek. You know I see he he still has a couple of Olympians in him. I think so I think too. He's got a couple of wins in him and stuff. You know, it's just going to be to the point to where you're not going to have these long consecutive strings of Olympia wins. Yeah, I agree. I 100% agree with that. Well, that's all we got for tonight. Uh, we will see you next week. You guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Absolutely. And uh, tell us what you think. Are you guys excited for the uh, Evil Prog? And uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs>